In this video, we're going to be learning about the It's Learning app. To download the It's Learning app, go to your Play Store or your App Store, depending on what your device is, and then enter a search for It's Learning. Select the It's Learning app when it appears. Click Install. Wait for the download to begin. Wait for the installation to finish. Once the app is finished installing, click Open. In the search box that appears on your screen, begin typing Western Dubuque. Once you see the Western Dubuque Community School District in the display, click on it. There are two ways to sign in. You can either choose the External Sign In or the It's Learning Sign In. If you select External Sign In, click on Western Dubuque Community Schools email. Enter your Microsoft 365 sign-in username at wdbqschools.org, then click Next. Enter your password for your Windows 365 account, and then click Sign In. When asked if you would like to stay signed in, you can select either No or Yes. If using the It's Learning sign-in, select the It's Learning sign-in tab and enter your username followed by your password, then click Sign In. You will see a Welcome to It's Learning app welcome screen. Click Let's Go. When you are in the It's Learning app's home tab, you will be able to see activity that has been taking place in the course since the last time you logged into the app. When you click on the Courses tab, the courses that you have in your It's Learning account will be displayed. Click on the course that you would like to work in. When you click on the Messages tab, any messages that you should be aware of or that have been sent to you by your teacher will be displayed. Once you've clicked on the Messages tab, you will also receive a Notifications window where you can turn on notifications that are being sent to you so you will be alerted to those notifications. You can also click Not Now. When you click the Calendar tab, you'll be able to view the events or the calendar items that you have on your calendar or that a teacher has put on your events calendar. When you click on the Calendar tab, you will also be asked if you would like to connect your calendar with your phone's calendar. For instance, if you have an Outlook calendar, it will ask if you would like to have it synced to that calendar. You can also select Not Now. When you click on the Tasks tab, you will see the tasks that teachers are having you complete. That could be your assignments, your homework, or anything that's considered a task by the teacher will be displayed. This will give you a quick reference on items you need to complete. In the upper left corner, next to your name, you will see three horizontal bars. When you click on those, a window opens that will display what is also being shown in the tabs. This can be a quick reference when you're on a cell phone. When you click on the library link, you're brought to a page that opens the It's Learning Library. There are hundreds of thousands of resources available to you, and you can find those in the library by entering a search. When you click on the bell icon in the upper right corner, you'll be able to see notifications that have been sent to you. In this case, you're able to see that there is a deadline tab and a no deadline tab. If new tasks have been added to your account, you'll see a number inside of an orange circle over the notifications bell. And that's how you navigate through and see the different parts of the It's Learning app.